What's up guys, Justin Greenall here with 65drums.com and today I'm going to show you how to use Easy Drummer 2. Obviously we need to buy it first, so what you got to do is you got to go to Amazon or ToonTrack.com. I bought mine from Amazon. By the way, if you buy the box version of, of Easy Drummer 2, you aren't getting the CD-ROM, you're just getting a code and you're going to have to go to the ToonTrack website and still download it. You're not going to get away from that. All right, so you need to create an account after you've got the code that you've bought. It's 240 bucks, and then you'll get a code and then create an account. And after you've created an account, press register product and it will ask for the number you got for buying uh, Easy Drummer 2. You need to input the dashes in between those numbers where it says to do that because just putting in the numbers or just putting in the numbers with spaces where the dashes should be does not work. I spent like 15 minutes of my time trying to figure out why it wasn't accepting my number. And it's because it needs the dashes. So after you do that, it'll ask you to download a couple of things. Just follow their instructions. And then you can uh, click right here and open up Easy Drummer 2. So this is the screen you'll see. Actually, you'll end up probably seeing the modern library screen. But the screen that you immediately see is a DW basic drum set. Uh, very vanilla sounding, but it will work for most types of music. And what you'll need to do is you'll need to go to settings and audio MIDI setup. Now let me explain what MIDI is. MIDI is the language that your uh, drum module uses to communicate with your laptop. Um, so your drum module says to the laptop, Justin hit the drum at this much velocity. And it uses MIDI to communicate that information. So as you can see, it already recognizes my Roland TD30. If yours doesn't show up, oh by the way, you need to plug in a USB uh, cable from your module to your laptop. Uh, here's a picture of what that cable looks like. It's the exact same cable you'll see on the back of your printer. But once you've done that, press rescan and your drum module should show up. If it does not show up, you may need to go on uh, the, the manufacturer of your drum module's website and download some drivers for your drum module. I believe I've downloaded the Roland TD30 uh, sound module drivers, I can't quite remember. So press rescan, you should find it, and then hit the check mark button, and then press apply. So now you need to go over here to audio device. I'm using ASIO, the driver ASIO, but you can also use ME, MME, and Windows Direct Sound. But if you do that, just remember, the lag is gonna be pretty bad. Latency is the, dis is the distance between the time you hit the drum and the sound from that drum hitting your ears. A regular acoustic drum is gonna give you like two or three seconds uh, milliseconds of latency. As you can see here, I'm getting six milliseconds, so that's like double. ASIO is a free driver you can go download from the internet. It takes you like 30 seconds to download and it cuts down the latency, at least for my laptop, down to around six milliseconds. So be sure to uh, download that and then you'll find ASIO, click on that, and then what you'll need to do is click apply and then you can press this button right here and you can adjust the number of samples and the buffer size. If I go like this and then click exit and then click apply, you can see now it's a 34 millisecond uh, latency and that is awful. So I'm gonna go back all the way to 64 samples and click apply again. And now I'm down to 6.4 milliseconds. All right, so now that you've got ASIO and now that you can recognize your drum module, click apply and then click OK. So now you're in this screen right here. You're only getting a handful of drum sets in this software because this is the basic package. What Easy Drummer wants you to do is go download expansion packs. Sort of like if you play Call of Duty, you can buy different map packs. You can do that with Easy Drummer 2 as well. Let's say you want a really good couple of metal kits. You can go buy like a 50 or $80 expansion pack for some metal kits or pop rock uh, kits or jazz kits, you can do that. What they're doing is they're lowering the cost of the initial investment you have so that you can go buy the exact kind of kits you want later on. So end, you end up only spending like 300 bucks in total, so it works out for everybody. Okay, so if you wanna change any of these sounds right here, you gotta hover over it and then a little triangle will appear, click on that. Now you can select each individual drum right here. And I like how they label them. They tell you it's a Gretsch uh, USA Custom. They tell you it's a Yamaha 9000. And you can adjust the volume right here, and you can adjust the pitch right here. 
And if you say, wow, I really like that Gretsch uh, custom A sound, well, let me just play the entire Gretsch kit. You can do that by pressing kits and then going down to uh, Gretsch USA Custom. So now you're playing a Gretsch kit right here. It's really, really nice. And if you want to uh, hover over, if you want to see what like a Yamaha sound is, and you can go to this little bar right here, you can see what it sounds like when it's really quiet or really loud by going from left to right. I think that's really, really cool. My favorite kit is actually the Yamaha 9000. So after you've built your kit and you've adjusted the kind of symbols, you can choose between Peisty and Sabian uh, symbols. You uh, have adjusted which, which symbols you want, you've adjusted the pitch. Now you can go save that as a preset. So go down to user presets and then press save as and then give it a name. And bam, now that's a user preset. And you've got two sound libraries here. You've got the modern sound library and you've got the vintage sound library. The vintage sound library is the one you saw when I first uh, loaded Easy Drummer 2. Um, you see all these right here? These aren't individual kits. You only get like three or four kits in this entire uh, uh, package they give you. These are all different presets. So if I press metal, for example, and then go to mixer, you'll see I get um, reverb right down here and different uh, tunings maybe and different mic uh, levels around here. If I go over here to distorted, as you can see, now I have more options because each one of these is a preset and they just give you different sounds for the same drum sets. So that's nice of them, but it seems slightly deceiving because you it almost looks like you're getting a ton of different drum sets, but you still only have those couple I was showing you. Now, if you're wondering why, um, let's say you're hitting your tom and you're hearing a cymbal sound, it's because you haven't set up your MIDI mapping correctly. Go over here to menu, go to settings, go to eDrums, and now you can adjust the MIDI mapping. So if you click right here, you can decide, you can tell the software that you have an Alesis drum set, a cat percussion drum set, a Yamaha drum set. Click on your drum and then go over here to hi-hat pedal curve. Let's say when you open your hi-hat all the way, you want it to sound really open and washy sounding. You can press curve four. Or if you want it to sound really close, press curve one. Just go through each one of those and press OK and see what it sounds like. Uh, I do like somewhere around uh, curve three. I like it to sound pretty open. I like to really crash into the hi-hats a lot. So that's how to use Easy Drummer 2. It's a very, very simple software. Oh, well, one other thing I would like to say is that when you adjust one of these knobs in the mixer cards in the mixer section right here, when you, whenever you adjust a knob, um, right up here highlights orange to show you what is being affected. So as you can see, when I'm tightening the drums, it affects a lot of different knobs at once. This just, th each one of these knobs can do multiple sliders at once. I don't really know how to explain it, but I just wanted to let you guys know that. This is a very, very simple software. Uh, there's a whole nother section where if you're not a drummer, you can go create your own, um, your, your own uh, drum beats or find one that you like and slightly modify it and then use it with, let's say you've created a song on your piano, you're not a drummer, you can create a drum beat to go along with your song and save it as a WAV file or as a MIDI file. But for, for this video, I'm just talking about the, this a whole thing at the eDrummer's perspective. Uh, there isn't a ton more to talk about. This is a very, very simple software. Um, if you want even more features, go check out Superior Drummer. It's like the flagship version of the Easy Drummer 2. But this is a lot less expensive. So you, you can get this with an expansion pack for like somewhere around 300 bucks. It is not that expensive because if you want a really nice uh, drum module, that'll be a thousand bucks. I really do like Easy Drummer 2. The only thing I don't like is that latency is a thing and that's um, this dependent on how powerful your laptop or PC is. So some people have more latency, some people have le less latency. It just depends on how powerful your computer is. I hope that video helped you out. If you like these kinds of videos, go check out my website, 65drums.com, and my YouTube channel. I make a new video about electronic drums every single week. Also follow me on Facebook, 65drums, and Instagram, 65.drums. I will see you guys next week.